but before like my whole day was just like mapped out completely and when your day is mapped out completely like you don't really leave margin or room for god to do something unexpected or unplanned i just feel like i have a little bit more margin in my life right now and so something as simple as taking my kids for a little bike ride around the block uh every day we're doing that and every day we're meeting new people or we're seeing people that we've met and relationships that we've we've already built so i just think there's there's now this like hunger and awareness every day lord you are the lord of the harvest lord you are the lord of the mission um bring people into my life and let's see what you're going to do with that i think sometimes when we think about evangelism we put so much pressure on wanting to get to the gospel wanting to get to a decision wanting to see conversion and all of those things are good and beautiful and right those are good impulses but i think if we miss out on the opportunity to just think friendship a lot of times we don't get to those those uh those other realities and so as i'm connecting with people i'm just learning what does it mean to be a good friend as simple as that is i hadn't really thought about that for a long time and i think you know again being in full-time vocational ministry uh, I've not had to think about how to build friends with my neighbors as much as I wanted to. So during the season just think about what does it mean to be a good friend? How can I help somebody? How can I bless somebody? How can I encourage somebody? How can I serve somebody in an unexpected way? And I think out of real relationship and real friendship, we're going to be given the right and the opportunity to uh, testify to the hope that we have in Christ. So we're, we're praying for more of those opportunities. But I think they're going to come, they're going to be birthed out of long-lasting, real, meaningful friendship.